What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got my guy, Cashed Out Kari, in the building. What's popping, bro? Yes, sir. What's up, bro? I appreciate you for having me on here, bro. Nah, for sure. Uh, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you. I appreciate you coming through today. Yo, you likewise. Likewise. Here, you feel me? Yo. <laughs> um, just to get into it, let the people know where you're from, where they can find you on social media. Hey, what's going on? I'm Cashed Out Kari. You can find me under YouTube. I cashed out Corey. You can find me on Instagram at cashed out Corey. You feel me? I'm from East Sacramento in the building representing. You know what it is, man. What was it like growing up in East Sacramento for you? I ain't gonna lie, bruh. Like, it was cool, but you for surely see some sh growing up, especially right off from Mather Field. Especially right off from Mather Field in front of Sunny's Market. Yeah, you gonna see some sh for sure, but that's home, bruh, and I love it. You feel me? I'm always gonna rep it. I ain't never gonna be afraid to show where I'm from. As far as, like, your household <clears throat> growing up, how was that? I mean, I'm first generation uh, Mexican-American, you feel me? My parents, they from, uh, they from Mexico, you feel me? Growing up, they ain't speak no English, so kind of like, it was cool, but it was just hard because it's like, you know, when, you, when your people come from a different country and stuff, they have higher standards and they expect a lot more from you, but they don't understand that, like, where you growing up at, you don't really, like, get to get those opportunities, you feel me? Why did they choose Sacramento? Do you know? Or like, Hell nah, <laughs> bro. I ask them that shit all the time. <laughs> but it is what it is, you feel me? Yeah. Um, as far as, like, the politics and all that, you feel me? Is that something you ever got into or you stayed away from it? Like, what, what has that been like growing up for you? Like, <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. Growing up, the politics was way different growing up versus how they is now like before the east was kind of like one movement and then i say until like 2017 2018 2019 around there that's when it really started getting like broken up into like two sides you feel yeah. me but the politics out there they crazy for sure bro and it's hella easy to get sucked into them yeah. for sure but i try my best to like you feel me just stay in my own lane you feel me that's why i made my own shit, you feel me i got my own cast out yep how did you come up with that bro <clears throat> so it stands for conquer all, stay humble, eager, disciplined, or unique team. Cashed out. But I just came up with that uh, in class one day, bro. You feel me? I just came up with it. I was just, because, like, in class, I would, like, draw my notebooks and shit, hella, like, graffiti type. One day, I just drew, like, a clean ass cashed out, and I was like, just roll. I'm going to go by this shit for sure. And then I threw the words into it. You feel me? Made it stand for something. And yeah, yeah, bro. Was it, was it, like, okay, so how did you get into music, you feel me? I'll tell you before, uh, I was slapping your shit, like, your shit hard, but, like, how Yo, did you, appreciate you, bro. you got your own sound, I think the music is really good, but, like, how, before we even get to it sounding like it sound now, like, what was it, like, originally, like, how did you even get into music originally? Bro, uh, my, so my grandpa, <clears throat> my grandpa's a mariachi, so, yeah. like, yeah, so, like, uh, Music was always around when I was growing up, you feel me? Moms was always slapping Mexican music. Pops was always slapping Mexican music. Uh, I had my, uh, I got an uncle, though. He grew up here. He from Mexico, but he grew up here. So he's like real Chicano, you feel me? So he gave me a head start with all the rap, you feel me? Like growing up when I'd be with him, because he used to take care of me a lot, too. So when I'd be with him, you feel me? He'd be slapping all that old head, you feel me? Like 50 Cent, Snoop, Ice Cube, you feel me? All that OG, you feel me? Yeah. And that's how I got into it, pretty much. And then I always like used to write in my notebook, and shit, like how I would feel. And then one day I said, you know what, I'm going to try to make this rhyme, bro. Yeah. And it did. And then you feel me? I threw on fucking instrumentals. I'd be, in the, I'd be in the mirror trying to rap my <laughs> until it sounded good. And then yeah. you feel me? From there, I just started really trying to get into this. Like, I even bought my own microphone set up at first, bro, trying to do this on my own. But, bro, I was like, what, like 14, 15 when I did that. And I didn't know nothing about, like, music or, like, engineering. Or shit, so I never had just wasted my money. I was like, this shit, bro. I'm going to go to an actual studio, bro. Yeah. I can't do this. Do you feel like a rapper or artist right now? I ain't gonna lie. With the big dog innovator interviewing me, hell yeah, <laughs> bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hell yeah. I try to stay humble and shit, but I'm feeling myself right now for sure. Nah, the, 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 the music is super dope. Like, like, what was the process for you, like, the, like working on your voice and finding your sound? <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. It took a lot. Like, <clears throat> it took a lot, bro. Like, like, you feel me? 
at first, it was just hella, like, I ain't gonna lie, it was hella auto-tune, bro, and I didn't really like it, and you feel me? My partners would even tell me, like, bro, pipe down with the auto-tune, whoop, whoop, you feel me? And then I, over time, I started, like, kind of, like, developing my own sound, hearing where where I need it at and where I don't, and then, you feel me, I would just tweak with the engineers and shit, and we would we would come up with that, bro. Yeah. As far as, like, the your, who you rocking with for your beats and selecting <clears throat> your beats, what is that process like? Shit. <clears throat> for the beats, I ain't gonna lie. Shout out all the producers that be sending me beats, bro. Shout out my dog, Pook the Producer. Shout out Rammy Music. You feel me? Shout out, uh, shout out who else be fucking with me, bro? Uh, who else be fucking with me, bro? Man, I can't remember right now, but when I pick the beats, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I like a lot of bass. I don't know if you hear my music, like, it's hella bass. You feel me? I like that shit that where you play it in the whip and it's gonna knock. You feel me? Like, yeah. you listening to my shit, you speeding up. In the low type shit, really cutting up. Yeah, no, no, I got you on that. Yep. I, um, as as far as you <clears throat> and your artistry, what do you believe will take you to the next level? Just doing connections, bro. Making connections, cause <clears throat> I met a lot of people, like not in the industry, but you feel me. They got their foot kind of in the door with it. You feel me? They could lead me in the right direction, and they all told me the same shit. Like you could have mad talent, bro, but at the end of the day, it's really who you know. Not really. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> um, what was the uh, the cipher like? You did the cipher with uh, Shimo yeah. Media. How was that yeah. for you? Yeah, shout out Shimo, but that's my dog. That cipher, I ain't gonna lie, <clears throat> bro. I was supposed to go first, but they put me last. But it's cause, bro, I was like one of the first people to show up. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. I showed up with my shit unwritten. Like everybody else put up, ready to go and shit. Shimo tried to throw me in the booth first and i was like i ain't gonna lie bro i'm finna go downstairs i gotta write this shit real quick let everybody go in front of me bro and he did but it was cool bro it was a good experience you feel me that shit kind of let me know like that was like a wake-up call for me for real because it was like it was like you feel me i started with just you feel me the ig videos with the phone and the speaker like just rapping you feel me then it turned into a little little studio sessions and then you feel me? It just started going up, and then I landed in the cipher, bro, and that shit really put me on. Oh, shout out NorCal next up too, cause I was the cipher too, bro. Yeah, yeah. Nah, which I I, I think is dope, and, and <clears throat> a lot of people are seeing that that you got some some talent and potential, which I, which I think is good. If somebody yeah. never heard a song from you, which song would you tell them to listen to? Shit, if they never heard a song from me, I say uh, Dark Dreams featuring the the homegirl Brows, yeah. and then uh, Polly. Stand for some and blue lights, but I got a bunch of music, so they got a lot to pick from, bro. Yeah. Um, what has been like? Uh, do you have like a distribution deal or anything? Hell You're nah. Independent right now. Yeah, I'm completely independent. You what feel has me? it been like? You know, uh, distributing your songs independently, like figuring out that process. But I ain't gonna lie, it's hella shit. You gotta really read. You gotta read some shit for sure. Um, but I mean, for the most part, bro, it's kind of just. Just keep dropping. I don't really look at it like that. I just look at it as just keep feeding them, keep feeding them, you feel me? But hopefully sooner or later I could learn more about that shit. That way I could take my shit to the next level for sure, yeah. bro. That's something I'm trying to get into for sure. Like, what, what have you been using to drop it? Like, Distro Kid. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. I've been getting paid off that shit. It's oh, cool, yeah, bro. Up. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like to hear that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, how do you feel about the Northern California music scene? Shit, I ain't going to lie. For sure, shout out NorCal, bro, because everybody doing their thing. Almost like every city got at least one popping rapper right now, bro. But yeah, the NorCal scene, I ain't going to lie, we've been fake way taking over. Because if you see, there's some SoCal rappers that started hopping on NorCal beats, bro. You For feel sure. me? Like, like yeah, <laughs> like we got some shit. We've always been, I feel like, I ain't going to lie, I feel like NorCal has always been better with the music if we come to Cali. Like, if it's NorCal versus SoCal, I feel like... NorCal's always had it in the bag, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, though. Like, SoCal, they had they had their moments, bro. They have their moments for sure. But I feel like a lot of the times, it's, it's mainly in the in the North where you find the best talent at. Nah, we got a, we got a lot of good talent for sure. Uh, I, think, I think the biggest difference between L.A. and NorCal is that L.A. All has always had the backing of the, the labels. Yeah, for which sure. Which puts them on a bigger platform. Hell yeah, bro. NorCal has the independent shit, so... Sometimes yeah, we don't got a, shit out there. It's bro. a little bit harder to do the independent route and be as big when you don't have the backing of the label behind you, you know? Oh, God. Um, nah, but yeah, uh, I, 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 I rock with what you were saying, though. Do you have a, a crazy life experience you can share with me? It don't got to be too crazy. Shit, a crazy something, life experience, something that bro. You, feel you would like to share. 
fuck. What's a crazy life experience, bro? I'm trying to think. I ain't gonna lie. You caught me off guard with that one, bro. That's a good ass question. <laughs> Shit. Uh, crazy experience. <sighs> I say. I say the craziest experience I've had was probably uh, I ain't gonna lie. I beat up a teacher in uh, seventh grade on the last day of school, bro. Why? Why, <laughs> why you do that? <laughs> Bro. Last day, so I'm last still, I'm, day. Remember, I'm, I, I'm assuming you was tired of that shit from the whole year. Nah, bro, check I'm me out. Her. Bro, wasn't even my teacher. He was like a like a lower grade teacher, bro. But what happened was this last day of school and shit. You feel me? Niggas is out there throwing papers in the air and shit. It's a, it's a mess. You feel me? I'm just trying to go home. You feel me? Um, and then I forgot what happened. Oh, you know what happened? There was like a big ass crowd. Like there was like a big ass crowd like hogging up the whole halls, bro. So I just, you feel me? I shoulder checked my way through them, bro. And then I was walking and then I guess the teacher seen that shit. And next thing you know, he walked up and he grabbed me from the back. Like he grabbed, like he put his hand on my shoulder and like yanked me back, bro. And the way it felt to me was like a nigga was about to fade me type shit. Like yeah. as soon as I was turning around, I was finna catch one. Yeah. So I turned around and I just threw the first one, bro. Not even <laughs> realize, not even realizing yeah. it was a teacher, bro. I started I'm, I'm macking his shit, bro. And then you feel me? Uh, I dip. I tried to dip. I got caught, bro. I got caught like a motherfucker, my bro. Security. Yeah, security tackled my shit. But I'm talking about I was running, bro. And I was a little scrawny. I was a little scrawny young nigga, bro. So I didn't really have that much weight on me. I was probably like 130, 125, bro. I had a hoodie on that day. I remember I was running, bro. And this big ass security guard, bro. He like six three, hella buff, like probably like three hundred pounds, bro. Just doing a dash on me, bro. And then he, I was about to, I was about to hit the gates, bro. I was almost gone, bro. <laughs> And then, bro, he yanked my fucking hoodie back and just, bro, I went flying backwards, bro. I'm Damn. talking about my feet went in the air and shit. I busted my shit on the ground, bro. Then he dragged me from my hood all the way down the hall to the office, bro. Like, dragged me but by the, my but, hood, bro. It, but in your defense, the teacher grabbed you first. Oh, God, that's why, you feel me? That's why it was some shit with the school, bro. I had to do hella meetings. Me and my moms, we had to do hella meetings and shit. My moms was finna sue him, man, a little shit so like what that. Up, like, what ended up happening that situation? They suspended me for... I think it was like three weeks in the eight, in the beginning of the eighth grade year, oh, okay. bro. I got you. But and then they put me on a academic contract, academic probation. It's like, bro, if I fight, fuck up, did school, or get in trouble, or whatever, they were finna kick me out. That's crazy. And he grabbed you first. Yeah, that's the only reason they let me stay though, because they said he was wrong for that. You feel yeah. me? But all the nah, other shit was sure. extra. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that was that was a good story for sure. Yeah, um, bro. Have you ever been arrested or anything? Hell yeah, bro! I went down when I was like fourteen, bro. Can like you a say year. Why and, and what? Stolo, like bro. It was For a stolo, real? yeah. What, what, what made you want to do something like that, <laughs> bro? My partner, he was in trouble. You feel me? And bro, he had called me, tell me to slide through. So you feel me? Like it was like some serious shit. Like, well, oh, damn, I got to slide type shit. I ended up, you feel me, cracking the little car, bro. I would took off and I picked bro up and we was just sliding through. It was like three in the morning, bro. And out of nowhere, bro, every time I hit a corner, I start seeing hella cops. Like, I see a cop car right there. At that corner, I hit this corner, there'd be another cop, like, passing by me. I'd be like, oh. So, I already knew what time it was, bro. I already knew they had they had made the whip. So, bro, I told bro to bounce out, and then I just took off. I parked it at this park, and then they had yanked up as I was bouncing out, bro. Yeah. Yeah, they, they yanked up while I was bouncing out, and they caught me, bro. And I went down for the stolo. I was in there for, like... I don't even remember, like, maybe a couple months, but I remember I got out and I had to be on probation on ankle, and I was about to start my freshman year of high school, bro. Oh, my God. So you showed up to the high school with the ankle monitor? Nah, bro, I got saved. I was begging the judge to cut my shit, because you know how, like, uh, when you were freshman, the day before school starts, you got to go to, like, an orientation? Yeah. So I had court date. I had my court date was the same day the orientation was. I pulled up hella late to the orientation, bro. I came straight from court. I had... I had told my public defender to uh, push to push to get my shit cut, you feel me? And at first, the judge said no, like, thinking I was just trying to get my shit cut off, you feel me? But then I told the defendant, like, bro, like, tell her, tell her it's for school, bro. And he did, and then she was like, all right, I'll cut your ankle monitor off so you can go to school, but probation going to pull up on you at school and, and drug test you and make sure you at school. You could even catch strikes, bro. If you a minor, you on probation, you could catch strikes for not being at school. What the hell? Yeah, you could catch strikes for not being at school. I kid you not. You could catch a strike if you get in a fight and get suspended. Shit like that, bro. They I, was tripping. Because well, they, they come up to the school, so they're going to ask what you've been on. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. It's It sucks that uh, as soon as you parked the car, they was right there. When yeah, you bro. <laughs> that, that is crazy as hell, though. 
Um, but nah, that yeah, that 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 was a, another that was another pretty crazy story. But uh, as far as like what the people can expect next, what can we expect next? Shit, just a lot of more music. Shit, probably a uh, a lot of more music. Uh, I'm about to work with a lot of different cameramen. You feel me? Like Steezy shot it. Just tapped in with me, bro. We finna get some, yeah. Oh God, I'm a big fan of Steezy shot it. Uh, we finna get some shit in for sure. That's Mando. Uh, I'm finna get some shit in with. With a lot of, with some artists, but I don't want to say too much, bro, but soon, soon, like, give me, like, a year, a year, a year and a half, bro, like, my name gonna get bigger for sure, bro, you feel me, especially since I got a little boy on the way, I've been really trying to apply pressure for that shit, bro, because it ain't even about me no more, it's about my son, you feel me? <clears throat> how, how, how did you feel when you found out you was having a, a oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I ain't gonna lie, when we was doing the reveal... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't never been that scared before in my life. Like, what you were scared of? Like, bro, if it was a word girl, bro, I'm talking about I had, like, most of my partners there with me. That everybody want, some niggas wanted a girl on that weird shit, but most what? of my, <laughs> like, yeah, oh God, like, hella hating it. Uh, but most of my people wanted a boy, you feel me? And I, I, I had even told my BM, I was like, bro, it's a boy, bro. I don't care what you tell me, it's a boy. She and she, it was a girl. yeah, she swore up and down it was a girl, bro. But I told her, I was like, bro, real niggas recognize real, you feel me? Real recognize <laughs> real, bro. It's a boy. And then boom, it came out to be a boy. I was happy as fuck, bro. That feeling, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't never gonna forget that feeling, bro. I felt like I had just beat like a fucking murder case or something, bro. I was so <laughs> relieved, bro. I was like, oh, yeah, it's not a girl, thank God. <laughs> why, 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 why didn't you want a girl though Bruh Alright I ain't gonna lie bro I'm pretty sure every nigga say this But bruh It's just I ain't I ain't ready for my daughter to grow up If I ever have one bro Like I can imagine Cause I, I know how I be doing I know how I be doing these bitches You feel me So I ain't gonna lie like I'd rather just not even have a female that way. I don't even got to deal with that yeah. shit. You feel me? No, nah, nah, for sure. <laughs> it's for sure going to have you like, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, you 100% right, for sure. you going to be, you definitely, but I understand, that's why I understand why, like, when, when dudes that that grow up and they be like, they don't let their daughter do too much. They're oh, like, God. I already know. <laughs> you already know what's out there for you in the street. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> bro. Especially when she go come across a nigga like me, it's a rap. What's your advice for, like, rappers coming up in Sacramento to stay out of the bullshit? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Just be a one-man army, man. Make your own shit. Don't try to click up with, with no other people trying to ride their wave type shit. You feel me? Just be on, man. Stand tall and on 10, you feel me? And do your own shit. I pop my own shit. And you see, it's going good for me, bro. So that's honestly what I could tell everybody else. Just be yourself. Literally, just be yourself, bro. How did your family react to you making music? I ain't gonna lie, bro. At first, you feel me? My parents is real life, like, from Mexico, bro. So they got a way different, like, they got a, their, their mentality, bro, is so different, like, way different, bro. Like, they didn't support it at first, I ain't gonna lie. And sometimes to this day, like, it still be kind of be kind of weird, bro. I feel like the support fake way be fake sometimes, you feel me? Like, like I be telling my sister, like, bro, repost my shit. She'll be like, no. I'd be like, <laughs> exactly. I'd be like, bro, you're hella weird. Don't ask me for shit when I'm up. Yeah. But, uh, shit, Pops, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, Pops, me and him, our relationship kind of rocky, bro. Like, it's a, I speak Spanish, bro. I'm like, I'm really fluent in Spanish. I can speak full conversation. I can hold a conversation. You feel me? My first language was Spanish. It wasn't English, bro. Yeah. yeah. So, it's like, I ain't gonna lie, when you grow up, Speaking one language at the crib, and then you leave the crib, and you got to switch it, bro. It kind of gets stuck. You feel me? So, like, there's a little language barrier between me and my pops. But, so, like, I don't really talk to him like that. You feel me? It's more of, like, a, he's just there type shit. He don't really be tripping. Like, he probably don't even know I'm over here in L.A. right now, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. But my mom's, I ain't going to lie. My mom, she was tripping for sure. She be tripping, like, when I, like. When I got when I got uh, invited to do that performance, bro, with Browse and Rigo Too Smooth and all of them on stage and shit, bro, my mom's at first I was trying to go. I was still I was still a minor at the time, bro. I was still seventeen. I didn't turn eighteen yet, bro. She said no, bro. She was hella hating. I was like, bro, I just got invited to performance. My first performance with Whoop. At first she was like no, and then I was like, what the fuck? I was, I'm finna go though. You feel me? I told her regardless. I said, bro, you're not gonna stop me. I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to push this cat all the way up there, bro. I don't care what, what? you tell me, bro. It was like in, I ain't gonna lie. It was like four hours away from Shaq, bro. It was like by Fresno. Gotcha. Yeah, bro. So she was tripping off of that because it was hella four. And I, it's understandable, but you feel me? When it comes to music and shit like that, moms don't really be too 
too open to it because they, you feel me, she rather have me go to school, you feel me, be yeah. a doctor or some bullshit like that type shit, you feel me, but. Nah, yeah, nah, I understand, um, you know, it's a it's a new generation of where kids, or not even kids, but just young deep people in general are not taking the normal route. Yeah, you like. Even with me, shit, my parents for sure probably looking like, you doing YouTube? Like, yeah. you doing interviews? But you get, like, I feel like at the end of the day, like, the thing about me that doesn't worry about, like, what my parents think, even though you want your parents to be proud of you, proud of bro, you and yeah. shit, but, like, you living out your purpose, you feel me? Oh, so God, yo, that's what I tell that, myself. doing that, everybody might not understand it or they might not agree with it, but, like, and they might even see the vision, but that, I think the, it, as long as you see the vision with your shit, I oh, feel God. like that's that's what you need to be relying on. Yeah, bro, me? that's what that's what I've been on, you feel me? Like, I started rapping when I was like 15, I'm 18 now. <clears throat> I be taking breaks and shit though cuz life be hitting a nigga hard type shit, you feel me? But uh yeah, I, that's why I, you feel me? I just push my shit for real like I tell moms all the time like, bro, you might not understand it now, but once once I reach my goal, you'll see everything was was for a reason, you feel me? Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like I be stacking up, but you feel me chasing this shit. The way you gotta chase it, bro. I be going broke doing this shit, bro. Like you feel me, I be going broke doing the music, doing the videos, everything, bro. But you feel me, I make it all right back type shit. You feel me, you gotta invest in yourself. Like moms ain't never put in a dollar. My, like none of my family ever put in a dollar on none of my music shit, bro. Every dollar, I've, every dollar that's went into my music and shit, it's been from my pockets, bro. Literally, bro. Which which is interesting because like I've heard stories of uh. Sometimes people like their their parent or somebody is the first to buy them their first studio equipment. Yeah, Your nah. shit is all out the mud. <laughs> yeah, oh God, bro. Literally, I started working. I started working, bro. Like you feel me? Before, like when I was like barely turning fifteen, bro. You feel me? I was doing the little the little here and there's for some quick cash and shit. But like once I got to that age where I could go apply at a fucking fast food place type shit, you feel me? I went and did that, bro. Wait, my, where you was working at? Bro, my first job. Was at Jack in the Box, bro. <laughs> they were, bro. They was paying for like most of the like early hits I was doing, bro. They was paying for those motherfuckers for sure, bro. Like, I used to be in that motherfucker thugging dog. I'm talking about. I was 15, bro, working the graveyard shift, working like 12 hour shifts, like them every day. They was hoeing me, bro, That's for crazy. sure. Yeah, I was getting hoed, bro. <laughs> and the manager was fucking breaking me off only half of my check, bro, and pocketing the rest. I'm talking about, bro. She would tweak my hours, like, like all the hours I accumulated, bro. She would go in the system and take them off me and put them into her. She was doing that to everybody, bro. Trust me, bro. I even tried to get a little lawsuit going against that shit, bro. But no lawyers wanted to represent me because I was a minor. What? What'd that mean? <laughs> bro, like, they didn't want to represent me, bro. Like, they was talking about, oh, we got to talk to your parents, woo -woo. Uh, And, like, moms and shit, they don't understand that exactly. shit, bro. Damn. Damn, that's fucked up. Oh, God, bro. I was, I was, one thing you said that I was confused you said about you speak Spanish though, right? Yeah. So why what is the what is the barrier between you and your pops talking? Shit, it's it's mostly uh like I ain't gonna lie, it's mostly uh it's just it be it's cause he an alcoholic, you feel me? So like he be all slurred out type shit, like he don't even be making sense, you feel me? He not making sense. How the fuck am I finna make some sense, you feel me? No, I got you. I got you. Um what I was about to say, uh, do you believe the the sack music scene would be as big as it is today if there was no politics, or do you believe the politics is the reason it got so big? Shit, that's a good question, bro, because I ain't gonna lie, it would be bigger if everybody just stopped beefing, bro, and bro, there's enough money for everybody to, to get, you feel me, like... But, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like the politics do pop the music off more just because there's, like, niggas repping hoods, slapping that shit, you feel me? Like, you got one nigga from a hood rapping, everybody from that hood gonna slap his shit, bro. You feel me? And then you got another nigga from that hood rapping, everybody gonna slap his shit, bro. You feel me? It's just, like, it's weird because I ain't gonna lie. Like, if, if you politic and doing music, you damn near get automatic cheerleaders. Like, these niggas be cheerleaders for some niggas, bro. Yeah. And... That shit, that shit ain't for me, bro. But yeah, I feel like it would be bigger without no politics. But the politics, they feel me. The politics put the cherry on top sometimes, bro. It is, it is crazy though, cause it's like the the way I see it is, you cannot, you can you cannot <clears throat> be known like that. But like if you're dissing somebody in your song, 
Oh yeah, yo, yo, like it's that, bro. Yup, yeah, like that. And Instantly, and the bro. Same guy can make a song about you, bro. And he gonna <laughs> pop too, bro. And then y'all just gonna be going back and, and forth, back, nigga. And everybody egging it on. Yeah, bro. That's I don't shit. think it should be like that though, either. Like, yeah, not because when niggas get dropped, everybody start crying about that's what that I'm saying. shit. Bro. Like when something happens, then it's not all fun and games no more. Oh God, bro. That's what uh, I'm saying. Have people ever got mad at you for saying nigga? Shit, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You're not gonna believe me, but hell nah. Like where I'm from, east in the east, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's a majority like just Mexicans and and blacks, bro. So you feel me? We all get along pretty well, like bro. A lot of my day one niggas is black, bro. You feel me? Like like damn, most of my friends is black, bro. I got more black partners than Mexican partners. You feel me? But I don't I don't use that as an excuse to like try to try to ride that shit. You feel me? I'm a, I'm always rep where I'm from, bro. I'm 100 percent Mexican. You feel me? Nah, I understand it though for sure. And you feel me? You see my baby moms, nah, bro. I, I got a black baby mama, bro. Like <laughs> <laughs> like I got a little nigga of my own. You feel yeah, me? Nah, I understand. <laughs> uh, do you believe in aliens or ghosts, bro? Hell yeah, aliens is real, bro. Nat, uh, Have you seen an alien before? I mean, I be seeing the, like, UFO shit on, like, IG, bro. Yeah. Bro, they're real, because, bro, think, think of how big the world is, bro. We is not the only living things here, bro. Like, if we got, if we got like, animals and, like, insects and shit like that living, and they're, like, way smaller than us, just imagine what's living that's way bigger than us, bro. Yeah. Nah, nah, for sure, nah. And then I, even in the ocean, the ocean is only, like, 80% discovered, bro, yeah, type nah. shit. And, and, like, when I, I was watching some shit last night, it was called uh, Predators on Netflix, uh, basically, what I'm realizing is that you, like you said, there's areas of the world that have not been discovered. None, bro. And there's parts of the sea that niggas would never know about. Exactly, so bro. We'll never know what's there. <laughs> exactly, bro. Yeah, hell yeah, I believe in that shit. What about sure. ghosts, though? Ghosts. <clears throat> I ain't gonna say ghosts. I rather say I believe in spirits, bro. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> uh, in my household, we real like spiritual for like our dead ancestors and like our dead relatives and shit. So like. I ain't gonna lie, like, my uncle, like, I got him, like, the shit I got tethered right here, bro. I be feeling my uncle's spirit all the time, you feel me? Especially when I, like, need it the most, bro. For sure, I believe in the spirits, for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, nah, I, I, I'm rocking with that. Uh, I'm, what, what was your first tattoo, and how old were you? Bro, I was like... if you're only 18 now, you got yeah. you got hella tattoos. <laughs> I'm about to get more, bro, but um, my first tattoos was these two, bro. Every time I get tattooed, bro, I get two, I get two you each get session. Two yeah. For sure, that should feel good, but I be falling asleep. But, bro, you already know, bro. My first tattoo was you feel me myself, bro. That cashed out shit. How old was you? Bro, I was seventeen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Was they tripping or? Bro, like, it's the it's the hood, bro. You got you got bread. You gonna I get mean, tatted, bro. When <laughs> niggas was getting tatted before they was eighteen, when I was growing up, you had to go to like. So you had to you had to already know that they was not gonna card you or nothing. Oh God, that no, I'm, I'm already knowing, bro. Bro, who tatted me? He tatted out his garage, bro, right there in the hood, like. My first tattoo was in the shop, but like we had heard that bro wasn't uh he wasn't ID people, so I went in there. But I was I was for sh I was I was about to be like sixteen and a half when I got my first tattoo. Did you did you show your parents when you first got it? Hell nah, tattoo? bro. I I hid them because I got this one too as well. I got these like I got these two at same the, time, same time, bro. Back to back like that. Uh, hell nah, bro. I was hiding that shit for like. Like a couple days for my moms. My pops ain't really care. I show my pops because my pops got some tats too, bro. He ain't really care. It was, yeah. It's my mom that be tripping about everything, bro. <laughs> Moms be tripping about everything. Yeah. Uh, she ain't talked to me for three days though when she found out. For real. She ain't talked to me for three. Yeah. She ain't talked to me for three days, bro. I remember I just was like, cause uh, like it was a lot of my homies that was hiding that shit, and I was like, bro. I mean, it's on you, so it ain't that. that yeah. You I'm like, I ain't finna hide it. I, so my, I had picked my mom. I, I think uh, she had. I whenever I see my mom, I just showed her. I was like, yeah, this is I said, I'm gonna get a couple more too. Like, <laughs> you both, bro. Because it was like, what's she gonna do if they already, they already there? Oh God, they, that's they, what my mom said. She was like, you can't erase it. You I can't was like, it. nah, for sure, you can't really can't for sure. That's why I'm like, uh, fuck it. Um, you've been dropping a lot of singles. Uh, you haven't dropped the project yet. Nah. Can we expect a project coming from you? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I would, but I feel like I'd rather save the project. Like I'd rather save all the music 
that that's project worth you feel me or album worth or whatever when i get a label behind me that way you feel me i could really push that shit so right now i feel like the best thing for me is just to do singles and singles bro because i ain't gonna lie like it's been working bro it's been going up like stupid bro like each single i drop bro it goes up more and more you feel me so i'm gonna just keep doing that if it ain't if it ain't broke don't fix it you feel me no i i understand especially like as you as you as you doing your shit and you coming up now, the singles you feel me to keep getting your buzz right, and then you you're directing everybody to that one song that you dropping, and then when when you feel like your buzz is good enough, you like all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna come with the whole yeah shit. on God, and then like on top of that, like I just feel like it's a real risk, bro, because it's like the music could be straight pressure, bro. Like you could have back to back slappers on that shit, but if you go if you don't got the right uh, people pushing it, you feel me? It's just a waste of music type shit. You feel me? Like you could have dropped all those singles, bro, and they probably would have all went up. Yeah. As far as you and working on your voice, like what's what's been that process? <clears throat> shit, just bro, just experiencing uh, different beats, like finding different beats. I do a lot of humming when I'm in the studio working, bro. I, I start off like everything with just humming to the beat, bro. Once I find like the melody, that's when I start writing my shit. You feel me? But yeah, it's been. It's been a long process, bro, because I ain't going to lie, like, bruh, my my first ever shit was straight garbage, bro. I don't even know how people were supporting my shit. Yeah, the first shit was garbage, bro. Like, I still got it. Like, look, I'll I play a little, I'll play a little, like, couple seconds of that shit, bro. <laughs> like, that shit was straight. It's hella just auto-tune and shit, bro. It was terrible, You said bro. people was telling you to, to cut the auto-tune back. Yeah, for shit, so. Like, where this shit at? Oh yeah, like look at this shit, bro. I like, look, watch. Oh fuck, shit, tripping. Bro, this shit keep tripping. You feel me, like? Like it's cool, but like I can see, I can see the the the, the, the growth though. Yeah, really. you feel me. You personally, what do you think is what, what do you think has changed the most in your music? I ain't gonna lie, it probably be the tempos I be rapping. Like sometimes, bro. Like, cause I ain't gonna lie, NorCal, bro. We got our own style and shit. But I want my own style, bro. I ain't trying to fall under the NorCal category, even though that's where I'm from. You feel me? I ain't trying to fall under that shit. Cause some of this shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie, it do be sounding the same, bro. A lot of niggas be sounding the same. So I feel like, you feel me? I be trying to. Rap a little bit different Like I don't know if you peeped it Like I be rapping hella fast You feel me I could rap fast Slow I pick up I change up the tempos And everything When I be nah, rapping bro sure. Nah for sure And as far as like The The The, the auto tune And working with like, Your voice shit Like how, how are you gauging When to use it And when not to use it <clears throat> It just depends The type of beat bro Like like it just depends the type of song I'm making on this sleep, bro. Like if I'm feel me, if I'm on my if I'm on my murder murder drill shit, or if I'm on my you feel me that humming shit, that melodic shit, bro. It just depends. It just it just depends how the shit sounds in my head on this sleep, bro. I got you. Uh, do you have that, like days where you like saying fuck music and not want to do it anymore? You have yeah, that? hell yeah, bro. I go through. I ain't gonna lie, like <sighs> this is probably like the realest thing I can say. Bro, you gonna go through a lot of emotions doing this shit or doing whatever you chasing, you feel me? Like, yeah, there'll be days where I be like, nigga, fuck the music, like, on some crash out type shit, you feel me? There'll be other days where I'm hella motivated. There'll be days where I be like, man, like, what am I, is my shit even going anywhere? But then, like, you feel me? I sit back and I, I just think about where I started, bro. I just think about, like, where I started at, back to, like, writing in the notebooks and shit like that, you feel me? But... Yeah, bro, that shit. That's that's what that's what I could say. Like I be going through a lot of it for sure. Like especially with like just maintaining life, like trying to do music. But bro, you still a kid. Like, I'm still a kid. You feel me? Like and I got a lot of my play. You feel me? I'm a teen father. Shit like that, bro. Nigga got that fat ass car payment, bro. I gotta I gotta make this bread. You feel me? Like I be going through it a lot. But you like, feel me? Like when I start doing it, bro. I feel better by myself. Like, when I start fading away from it, I start feeling hella shitty, bro. Like, I start feeling down on myself, bro. But when I put myself right back into it, I pick myself right back up, bro, and I keep marching. No, I, I, I respect that. And, um, yeah, I already know. That, like, it's, I mean, I, I deal with it. I feel like not as much as I used to. But, like, still sometimes I'm like, man, is it all going to work out? I feel like. 
I feel like with being a creative, that's just something that you're always going to have to experience and deal with. But I feel like, like you said, to me, nothing feels more better than when I when I know I've been working on content. Oh, God, I know I you feel me? Done. When you got shit on the way. So I feel like I just try to keep the focus there. Like, keep keep working. Keep figuring it out. Oh, God, bro. You feel me? But I feel like, you know... The worst thing you can do is is give up on yourself. So man, cause that's that's embarrassing, bro. That's that's one thing I always tell myself. Like, it's gonna be more embarrassing for me to just give up and stop and watch and let all these people see that I gave up. You feel me? But that's another thing that keeps me pushing for show is, bro. Like, I already started, bro. I gotta finish. For the people watching this, who is cashed out, Kari? Shit. <sighs> Who is cashed out, Corey? <clears throat> uh, best I could say is <sighs> the realest Mexican nigga out type shit. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I don't really try to talk about myself too much, bruh, in like that type of perspective because I try to stay humble. You feel me? But I mean, cashed out, Corey is a humble, young. Young kid for sure, bro. I'm only 18. I know I look hella older and shit, but yeah, I'm just a kid. That's that's who Cash Out Car really is, bro. I'm just a I'm just a young nigga out here just bullshitting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, since you've been making music, what would you say is one of the biggest lessons you you have learned so far? I ain't gonna lie, bro. That that fake love shit, that shit is real, bro. Cause when you pop in on my mama, everybody wanna hit you, everybody trying to be around you and shit. But once that little buzz fade away or some shit, ain't nobody there, bro. You feel me? Like, niggas will only want to be in your videos when your videos is popping, bro. But you feel me? You start popping for a little bit and niggas start acting hella weird and shit. But, yeah. How you deal with that? Shit, I match the energy, bro. I'm already knowing what cards they playing, so I play mine right back. Yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I think that's why I always tell people... Uh, relationships is super important and always keep in mind like who as as an artist like who genuinely fucks with you oh god that's what i'm saying bro at the end of the day like even with me like i've had a lot of rappers do weird shit with me or they they were fucking with me at one point then they stopped fucking with me but it's like with me if it's always solid, we're going to always be solid. Yo. Whether you hot or not, i still bring you through for interviews. But, like, I tell people, like, these bigger platforms, they're fuck with you when you're at your hottest. But when you fall yeah, off, they not. they're not answering the phone. Oh, God. That's, bro, that <laughs> Don't shit. Don't act funny with me. <laughs> nah, I got you, bro. You're going to come back and need Yo. me later. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, Damn, what was all that about? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I think... I just don't forget how people treat me. Oh God, no, that's some I some I always keep in mind too. Is I don't I'll never forget that weird shit. But I ain't gonna lie, that shit's already happened with me with a with a certain platform, bro. I ain't gonna say the name. I'll probably tell you off camera, bro. Yeah. But that's already happened to me with one platform, bro. Niggas was fucking with me. And then bro, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what happened, bro. I don't know if it was maybe just fucking with Shima Media and other platforms that made this one platform feel a type of way, but Mm -hmm. But yeah. that should be weird. Yeah, it can get tricky with that too. Oh God, bro. Um, nah, for like it, it can definitely get tricky <clears throat> with that for sure too. Um, is there anything you want to address while you here? Shit. <sighs> Stop lying to y'all fucking music, man. I swear <laughs> to God, nigga, that shit is mad annoying, bro. <laughs> why? Why do you feel like artists do that? It's just for the look, the clout. You feel me? Like me, I ain't gonna lie, bro. The only time you're going to catch me lying in my music is if I'm talking about buying a bitch something or some shit like that. I try to be, like, most authentic in my music, bro. That's why I be feeling the type of way when, like, there's certain niggas that be out here rapping and I really know how they are and it just make me feel some type of way because it's like, nigga, you not like that. What is you out here? Because you got, you got niggas that's really out here, like, dying for this shit, bro. You got niggas that, like, crash out, go to jail, trying to just prove an image so they can rap about it, you feel me? And... Bro, that shit don't, that shit, I'm telling you, don't sit right with me, bro, because it's like, come on, bro, this nigga's really doing this shit with a purpose, bro, you over here just perp. Yeah, I feel like, I just don't understand at what point it became, like, 
the thing came to be like try to be as gangster as possible. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like I don't understand that shit either. Like you see me, bro. Like I don't be like. I mean, I be I be with the little gangster shit. You feel me? But I don't do it too hard. You feel me? You won't catch me like you won't catch me. You won't catch hella niggas in the bag with rags and like yeah. throwing up gang signs and shit like that. It just be my partners and shit. We just be. We just be being ourselves, bro. You feel me? Like, we just some young niggas off the block type shit. I do feel like Sac, California in general. Man, with the gang banging. The it's gang, the cat, bro. It's where this shit the started gang, at, bro. Gang, it's always going to be here. Gang banging the music is, like, heavy. Like, even the Bay. Like, the Bay hadn't really been on that. But even now, like, I think it's just a Cali-wide thing where, like, the gang banging shit is more, like, just for at the forefront, like you feel me, like like we said, if you gang banging in your videos, it's bound to get more views than if you just made a regular song. Oh, but God. I feel like I do feel like at the end of the day, people truly want to hear the best music. So I, even if you're not gang banging, but your shit is fire, niggas will fuck with you. Oh yeah, not nah, for sure, bro. And you feel me? That's what's been going on with my shit, bro. Like you feel me? I don't be dissing niggas. I don't be throwing up like fuck this set and fuck that set. You feel me? Like I just throw up where I'm from and that shit, bro. I just you feel me? I just represent all that other shit. Y'all niggas can keep that, bro. I'm trying to get this bread. Nah, for sure. <clears throat> um, for my final question, I want to ask you. Um, I know you're young, but what advice would you give to yourself, say when you was <clears throat> like 12 or 13? Shit. If I could go back and give some advice to my younger self, I just tell myself, uh, just keep going, bro. Keep your head up. It, it's all going to get better in the long run, bro. Literally, just just keep thugging, bro. I did, do you have anything in your life that you wish you could have changed? I mean, yeah, there's a couple things I wish I could have changed, bro. But at the same time, I don't be trying to live life with regrets, bro. Because then that shit would just kill you, bro. Because you can't go back in time, you feel me? You got That's why you got to make every move your best move, you feel me? But a couple things I could change, I ain't going to lie, was just probably, like, fucking with certain niggas, bro. Pretty much. Like, just, I'd rather just not fuck with certain niggas. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I got you. Um... Anything, yeah, give me your Instagram <coughs> one more time so they know where to follow you at. Oh, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram uh, at Cashed Out Corey, and then you can find my shit on YouTube under Cashed Out Corey, bro. You locked in with the innovators. You already know we got the best interviews. I got my guy, Cashed Out Corey, in the building. Y'all make sure to tap in with him, follow him. All the music on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, Yo. all that. Make sure to tap in. Yo. It's the innovators. We locked in. Hell yeah.